This is Heat 2 of 2, boys 11 and 12, 400 yard medley relay. In lane number one at the bottom of your screen is Pleasanton Seahawks. Lane two, Mission San Jose. Lane three, Terrapins. Lane four, Palo Alto. Lane five, De Anza. Lane six, Santa Clara. Lane seven, Irvine Nova. And in lane eight at the top of your screen is Sunnyville Swim Club. Check out these underwaters in lane number four from Palo Alto, Stanford Aquatics. If we can keep up with him. He's kind of swimming even outside the uh, camera frame there. He's so quick. Great underwater there for Palo Alto. That's almost making it to the halfway mark there on both walls. Let's see what he can do on this final wall. This will be the test of his underwater endurance. Looking like he got maybe seven or eight kicks off that final wall. Great leadoff leg for Palo Alto there in the middle of the pool. Sitting second, two lanes above him in lane number six. That's Santa Clara Swim Club. Lead off for Palo Alto, 1-0-0-3-0. And then we did not get a split for the Santa Clara team up in lane number six. Oh, it did, 102-02 for Santa Clara on the lead off as they transition now into the breaststroke in Palo Alto, maintaining that lead 25 yards into this breaststroke. Garrett, this is the final heat of the night. Swimming World, check out all finals races can be found on demand on the event landing page. So if you missed any races tonight or any future races here at the Far Western, check out that event landing page for the finals races here at the 2011 Far Western Championships. Pasa still out in front and they are extending the lead through this second leg of the medley, but keep an eye on Deanza Cupertino in lane number four now coming up to challenge for second. They've now pulled even with the swimmers from Santa Clara up in lane number six. Meanwhile, well out in front, heading into the halfway mark. That's Palo Alto Stanford Aquatics. They've got a five yard lead as they enter this butterfly leg. And it is Deanza Cupertino entering second, right above them in lane number five. And then right above Deanza in lane number six, it's the Santa Clara team. But both of those squads with a long way ahead if they want to catch up with Palo Alto. Palo Alto with a pretty substantial lead, but we've seen leadership position change when there's this much of a yardage difference in between. Deonza trying to stay right on the feet there of Palo Alto in lane four. Definitely running him down. Watch out for Deonza Cupertino in lane four. <clears throat> These boys might be neck and neck heading into your anchor leg, and this, this would make the anchor leg the most exciting because we're going to have a neck and neck race here between Palo Alto in four and Deonza in five. The front half belonged to Pasa. It looks like so far on the back half, it belongs to Deanza Cupertino who entered this anchor leg with a slight advantage, but Pasa now rallying back. These guys are dead even heading into the first turn on this anchor leg. Pasa in four, up in lane number five is Deanza Cupertino. The boys are still neck and neck halfway through this anchor leg. I don't even know if you could say who has a slight lead. It looks like Cupertino to get his feet on the wall first, but maybe the slight advantage going to Palo Alto in lane number four. Just over 25 yards left to go. The boys are flipping almost simultaneously. In lane four is Casa, lane five is Daka. Definitely one of our most exciting races of the night. Your champion this year in the 11 and 12 boys 400 medley relay is going to go to lane number five. That's Deonza Cupertino, 408-1-2. Second place, Palo Alto, 408-76. And third place, lane number one down there at the bottom of your screen, Pleasanton Seahawks.